Take some water in a glass container. Now take a heavy rubber ball and immerse it slowly in the water. Observe the ball from one side of the container. What do you observe? Do you notice any change in the size of the ball? Yes, the size of the ball varies. Now take a beaker filled with water. Take a pencil and place it vertically in water such that some part of the pencil is immersed in water. Look at the pencil carefully. You will observe that the thickness of the pencil inside the water appears to be more than the thickness of the part of the pencil that is outside the water. Place the pencil obliquely in the beaker. What do you observe? You will observe that the pencil appears broken at the surface of water where the light rays emerge from water and enter the air. This happens because the light rays traveling from one medium to another change their direction of propagation. This phenomena of light is called as refraction of light. Activity Place a coin at the bottom of a glass jar containing water. Now tilt the jar suitably. When viewed from a suitable angle, the coin appears to be floating. Can you explain why? When you place a coin at the bottom of a glass jar, the rays of light begin to emerge from the coin. Initially, they are in the water medium. When the rays emerge out of the water, they travel in the air medium. On entering the air medium, they change their direction. Let us consider ray AB incident on the interface of water and air at an angle of incidence I. The ray deviates away from the normal to the interface and emerges as ray BC. The coin appears to be raised. When the jar is tilted, the ray AB is incident at higher angle of incidence on the interface and gets deviated from the more normal and travels along path BD. The coin appears to rise further. If the jar is further tilted at a suitable angle called critical angle of incidence, the ray AB gets deviated away from the normal and grazes just along the surface of water and the coin is felt to be floating on the surface. We have seen the effects of refraction of light when it travels from one medium to another. Let us understand the concept of refraction in detail. Concept of refraction of light Light travels along a straight line in a transparent medium. The velocity of light is maximum in vacuum and is equal to 3 multiplied by 10 raised to 8 meter per second. It is marginally less in air. It has been found that light rays propagate with different speed in different media. Therefore, the direction of propagation of light rays changes when it travels from one medium to another. The phenomena of change in the direction of light rays when it passes from one transparent medium to another is called refraction. Let us understand the change in the direction of path of light rays due to refraction with the help of an activity. Light rays on going from one medium to another follow the laws of refraction. Let us study the laws of refraction in detail. 
लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन कंसिडर अ रे ऑफ लाइट पी क्यू इंसिडेंट ऑब्लिकली एट पॉइंट क्यू ऑन द सर्फिस ए बी ऑफ अ ग्लास स्लैब सिंस एयर एंड ग्लास आर टू ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडिया एंड ग्लास इज मोर डेंस देन एयर the ray of light gets deviated towards the normal and travels along the path qr here nq n dash is the normal at the point of incidence the angle pqn is the angle of incidence i and angle n dash qr is the angle of refraction r and here i is greater than r The refraction takes place according to the laws of refraction which are the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane for a given pair of media the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is constant that is sin i upon sin r is equal to constant This constant is called as the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. It is denoted by n.